we measured a lot of things in their blood. And there's this, you know, there are a lot of traits in the blood, both related to your erythrocytes, your red cells, and your immune cells um, that are associated with lifespan. And I'm just picking on one. Uh, it's called red cell distribution width. If you go get a whole blood analysis at the doctor, I'm sure most of you know this, um, red cell distribution with RDW expressed as coefficient of variation is a number that's gonna be on there. Mm. And it's very similar to the mouse number. And look at this, mice with high RDW, lifespan on the y-axis, RDW, x-axis, mice with high RDW are almost assuredly having shorter lifespans. There are mice who die with low RDW, but mice with high RDW, one exception, right? This could be a mistake, but high RDW is a is an indicator of mortality. So let's look at RDW predicts mortality. Honestly, I talked to one of the physicians who was associated with the study, and he's like, oh yeah, we know this. Physicians know this. This is why RDW is on the medical report. Uh, the blood the blood analysis. So if you look at all the mice together and you just look at their RDW, this is 10 months, negative slope. There's that one. But there are a lot of 40% mice out here, and these are the 40% mice who had short lifespans. They have high RDW. If we go to 20 months, 22 months, actually, the reason the plot looks funny is because mice that died before 22 months did not get their second RDW measure. So everybody who was measured is now in the top part of the plot. And you can see again, this phenomenon, and then out here at um, 34. So I picture it, if you had a movie, if you could continuously watch this through time, I just picture these points kind of rolling down here, and then the mice are dying, rolling down and dying. So RDW is a really interesting measure. High RDW, short lifespan. But wait, the fun's not over because look what RDW, how RDW responds to intermittent fasting for two days or 40% CR. At 10 months of age, they've been on their intervention for four months. This RDW number on average has really shot up so that's not good, but the slope is less and we know they live longer. Um, so it does appear that the intervention is doing something adverse to the red cells. Um, and yet the age effect is, is flattened and ultimately they live longer. And remember this is chronological age. I swip swap this over to the proportion of life lived. And here's something that's really amazing. All these lines are parallel and they all have this inflection point at about 70% of life lived. RDW starts to go up, remember the movie, here we go. These mice have turned the corner. And the fact that the lines are parallel tells me something. These mice are all changing through their biological time scale in a very similar way. And there's something independent that's happening that's just bumping the RDW up in these um, two extreme groups. That is a weird observation that I'm curious about, but 